Hello, my name is Mark, and welcome to I Am Organic Gardening, located in Zone 6B in the state of New Jersey. I have a large backyard garden, which I show you on my other videos, and also I live on a 22-acre organic farm. And today I want to talk about tomato plants, but a particular part of that tomato plant. Now, I hope you can share this other information with other people because there's a lot of misinformation out there. On the bottom of the tomato plant, next to the ground, you see all those little white hairs. That's exactly what they are. They are not roots, and I'll give you a close-up later on and I'll explain what they are. So, let's start with something that is the correct name of it. It is called trichomes. Now, it is those little white hairs, and that's exactly what they are. They're just hairs, and that's a defense mechanism against bugs. So let me give you a close-up what I'm talking about. Now, here we have a very good example of our base of our tomato plant here, our stem. Now, all those little white hairs that are there is actually a defense mechanism. They're called trichomes, like I mentioned before. And what it does, say an ant tries to climb up this tomato plant, it will encounter all those little white hairs that have a tomato smell on it and actually will make it bitter and a deterrent for that ant to not to climb up your tomato plant and other small insects. It doesn't stop like snails or slugs or uh, cutworms as much. It might deter them a little bit, but again, that's where you get your tomato smell when you rub against all those little hairs. Now, the real truth about it is, and that's why it's a little confusing, is that we have on the back here, right down here, and all these little white bumps, those are actual roots coming out of that tomato plant that will help that tomato plant grow in the future. So that's why you can bury the tomato plant in the ground deeper because this stem here will create roots. And here's a better picture of those little white roots coming out of this main tomato stem. Now that's why it's confusing because everybody thinks that these are, these little white hairs here are roots. They're not, they're just completely hairs. Now let me show you them on the rest of the tomato plant and you'll have a better understanding. So as we go further up the stem here, you can see those little white hairs also coming out. So they have nothing to do with roots. Now, it kind of looks like peach fuzz. And speaking of peaches, when you get a peach, it has that same little white hairs over the surface of the peach. That's a different type of trichome, but that protects that peach from insects also too. So even when you get to the very top of the plant, you can again see those little peach fuzz hairs all over the top. Now, that's on the stem, but on the leaves or so here, that's a different trichome, and I'll show you that. That's This is another amazing part of your tomato plant trying to deter pests from it. So let me show you a picture. If you're looking for more information, you can just Google it, trichomes on tomatoes, and you'll get pretty much the same answer that I'm giving you right now too. Now let's explain the ones that are on the leaves. Those are different than the ones that are on the stem. Here's a good picture of trichomes on our surface of our tomato leaves. You can see that they're different than the hairs that are on the stem. Now, again, these are different trichomes. These are called glandular trichomes, and they excrete oil and will hold moisture on the leaves so it can cool itself off. Now, what it does, these oils that come out of the surface where that arrow is pointing to, will actually trap bugs and keep them there until they die. So, as a, again, it's a self uh, mechanism for helping the plant keep a great immune system and also warding off small bugs. It is truly amazing how nature has developed this over the years and has helped us try to control our pest problems on our plant. So the best thing you do to help these trichomes work is to keep your plant with enough moisture and enough nutrients that it's going to be cycled through the soil food web to keep your plant healthy and give you nutrient dense food. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you again shortly with another video in the future. Thanks.